I will be showing you the difference between the 8500 Tipperary helmet and the 8700 Tipperary helmet. Um, my most common question is what is the difference between these two helmets? Um, and I am going to show you that right now. So we're going to start with the 8500. If this is one, is in it's a small and it's in white. You can see the color is all over the helmet. The 8700, you're going to find that most of these helmets are going to be have a black casing and the colors are the pop and the mesh. So this is black with teal mesh and this one is also a small. Um, this one has more of a sleeker modern design um, and then this one is some of their older models. If we take a closer look to our 8500, we can see the big woven mesh. And then when we look inside, you have your padding here um, and there is no like helmet head cradle and I'll um, show you what that means in a second. The under the chin strap is a basic snap on and off, just like that. Now, all of our temporary helmets come with extra padding so that you can build up or build down. This has the thicker padding in the back, and then they also come with the drawstring back. Um, now, the 8700, you will see here that the mesh vents are a little more tightly woven together, so we can really get that pop of color um, while still being super breathable. But then in the inside, here is where we have that cradle for your head still super breathable mesh but just a little bit of extra before we get into the real helmet um, some extra building of mesh here and then again here is the foam um, the bigger foam is in the helmet case right now but you can build up or down whatever suits your needs now with this one what i find most interesting is how it attaches under the chin. So this is all magnetic. A lot of people struggle with this when they first get this helmet. And I recommend just practice first while it is not on your head and then practice with it on in a mirror. So if I can get this untangled here. So you'll see, it does not look like a normal snap, but you'll make it come together. And it should just, hear that snap? So just it magnetically comes together. A lot of people want to like force it in. Um, I mean, this still works, but if you just take it here, hold it by that metal piece here and hold it by this round piece here and just bring them close together, it should snap right in place. Hear that click, here I'll let you hear that here. Nice. And then for it to release, all you have to do is pull up on this and just have it release out. So we put it on and we take it off. So quick release in um, theory. So those are the big differences between the helmet. Um, they are both really, really great helmets. These are the helmets that I recommend most people get. A lot of hunter jumpers really enjoy this helmet. They do not have the dial on the back. Um, some people like that, some people don't. It is all on the shape of your head. Um, be sure you do have a helmet. Um, you are supposed to replace your helmet after a big fall or um, normally it is between like a couple years, five, eight years, where you have to replace them. So, there you go.